Come on then, Ronnie, tell me, what would you rather be eating? Your ass. Oh, Ronnie, no! Hello? Hello? Hi, Heather, this is Ron <laughs> calling from the corporate office at UPS. How are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Reason for the call is uh, I was actually passed your file by my social media team. I understand you had sent them over a picture and you'd had a problem with a, a damaged uh, delivery. Is that correct? Um, I sent them a video of a driver throwing my packages down on my cement porch. Uh, okay. Uh, what was in the packages, if you don't mind me asking? Christmas wreaths that are made of bulbs. Christmas wreaths that are made of bulbs. Right. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, and have you had some kind of dispute with a driver? Has there been some kind of problem? Have you complained about him before or anything like that? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, and I, anyway, if I did, that shouldn't matter. I mean, if I had a problem with somebody, they should still be doing their job and delivering my packages correctly. But... I have not ever filed a formal complaint against anyone or had a verbal altercation or anything with UPS. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. And did you happen to get the name of the driver or were you provided with that information during the delivery process? No, but they should know who delivered my stuff. I'm just looking that up for you now. It looks like it was Mike. I don't know any Mike. I don't know anybody that works for UPS. Personally. Okay, I'm just looking it up. Uh, yeah, it was a gentleman called Mike who was the delivery driver. Now, when you got to the package and opened it, was there actual damage? Was there a, a problem with the contents? Yeah. Bulbs have come off of, of these wreaths. Luckily, uh, right now, I haven't gone through and inspected them because this happened while I'm working. I work from home. And... Um, I haven't inspected to see if any of things, any of these are cracked, but bulbs have come off. Okay, I'm just making a note of all this in case we need to put this through our insurance company. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so the procedure, what we normally do is I would actually normally call up the driver and just speak to him first of all and find out if there's some kind of explanation for the behavior. I've looked, I've just reviewed the video myself and I can't, I, I can't see why he would do that to be honest with you. But that is our procedure. Um, if he can't come up with a good enough reason, obviously as to why he behaved out of the ordinary, then we will put in a full claim and get you compensated for any losses. Um, are you okay to hang on the phone while I just give him a quick call? Yeah. And this was a delivery from uh, today, is that right, or yesterday? That's today. It was from today. It's today, yeah, okay. Bear with me a moment. I'm going to call up Mike and we'll see what's going on. If you could just stay on the line for me, please. Yes, Mike. Hi, Mike. It's uh, Ron at UPS Corporate. How are you doing? What's up? Kind of busy with my route. What's going on? Um, yeah, I got a question about a delivery from earlier today uh, that you dropped off. Name of Heather Russell. Um, it, it was some Christmas stuff. I know you, she's, she's tweeted out a video of you, dude, and you're like slamming the package on the ground. What, what happened there? What? Yeah, I mean, I've got, okay. I've seen the video. I didn't slam the packages on the ground. <laughs> what happened was I, I I walked up to the entrance there, not to mention the freaking fact she's a Buckeyes fan, but that didn't that whatever, right? So I kind of see through the window. I can see this lady sitting there, and I swear to God, it looked like some sort of a a witch or or I don't know what it was, and it freaked me out. So I just threw them down and got the heck out of there. I don't. I didn't really think it'd be a problem. I mean, I didn't throw it down hard. I just basically dropped, you know. Well, she's lost, tweet, she's tweeted I, I out. I lost it because she freaked me out. I mean, she's on the line with us. She she's she's tweeted There's out. There's nothing oh. in my window. Oh. There's nothing. Oh, there she is. And if Might I want to be a specter or something, fan, that's my business. How, how fucking retarded are you? I live in Ohio. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. First of all, no, you know, whoa, let's not use slurs whoa. here. You came on my property and threw my property down. It's on video, buddy. 
I carried your property on your property and then it's dropped them because video. of some specter I in your windows. Facebook. Everybody agrees with me that you well, of course slammed it down. You can hear it. Well, I, like I said, I mean, it's not like I did it on purpose, ma'am. I don't know. I understand why you're getting so upset and the Buckeyes suck. Well, they suck. The Buckeyes suck. The Buckeyes so suck. So whatever. You should be a professional and deliver packages. That's what you're paid to do. And that's what I did. Did your packages yes, not you arrive at your, at your location? Packages. You damaged the stuff inside. How do you know it was me that damaged them and not when you went to pick them because up or something? You threw it down, buddy. It's on video. And I'm putting that all over social media. I it's put it fake, on Twitter. Fake news. Text. I put it on Facebook. And it's going on Instagram next. So you use some AI software to make it look like I threw them down. I yes, actually sir. very I've gently got dropped ADT them. Security system that got you. Look. You are such an idiot. Karen, I understand that you've got some sort of window. stupid There's nothing in the window. system. You're an idiot. There is something you've got a specter or something in that house. How do you know? I can see. I see a lot of like. Spe- I see you things that are spiritual. Idiot. Maybe you don't. UPS. You. Need to get you have some sort of evil presence there, and it's scared the crap out of me. What they say they're paying you. You should be doing your okay. job, regardless of whether I'm a fuck guy fan or not. That is right. So I delivered them anyway. I del- right. even though I saw that you were a Buckeyes fan, it didn't you bother me. You them down. I have it on video. I just oh, I'm right next wow, to you're the getting end. really hostile, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. 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 Yeah, ma'am. I can hear that. An attorney. Ma'am, ma'am. It, 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 it's Ron at corporate here. You're going to have to stop yelling at him like that during the whole Karen thing because we can stop, stop deliveries. I'm in my house on my phone. Ma'am, you need to behave. To be no. You call no. Me. Don't think that I'm you not do going not. to speak to an attorney tomorrow after you all of this. Do and not. this has been recorded. You too. do not speak to one of our drivers like that. You do not. I just did. Kiss my ass. You show some respect. Look, man. <laughs> next time I'll use a fucking oh can and deliver. Oh, here we go. Let's go back in here. Okay, so now this is harassment? UPS is harassing me? Ma'am, we'd just like to get no, to the bottom of this. You're not calling me down. You are not going to call me down. Oh, yes, I am. No. You calm down. Oh, no, you're not. Fuck you. No. <laughs> You are not going to calm me down. <laughs> Kiss my ass. Oh. Fuck you. Ma'am, please. We t- <laughs> wow. Oh. Dude, the only thing she, she didn't like was the Buckeyes. Fuck That's you. it. Ma'am. <laughs> I wonder what. Oh. Because this is building my harassment claim against Ma'am, UPS. I'm afraid I can't fuck write you, this as resolved. You and... piece of shit. Wow, ma'am, that's right. Here we go with the racism. <laughs> go back where you came from. Fuck you. <sighs> that is that's disappointing. Actually, I was about to move on to the next complainer. That's uh, unfortunate for her. My mom's uterus is rotted already in her grave, so I can't. <clears throat> Ronnie, I'm going to let you know if that changes. <clears throat> Listen, you. you fat racist cunt. You ever speak to me like that? Oh, she hung up. <laughs> I was going to get up, but no. All right, that's it now. She's in a lot of trouble. Oh, it's going to be fun. Fuck oh, you. You're in a lady. Can you put her in the bad people room, please? Yep. Hey. <laughs> Let her keep doing that while I get in a voicemail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turns out she's a banshee. That She's screaming now like a yes. banshee when she picks up the phone. Definitely some kind of supernatural behavior. Hey. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Shut up, you fat racist hillbilly cunt. She's a real winner. 
We got we got a live poor one. husband. I know, right? Can you imagine? Her bad He's not gonna deal with this shit all night. Why do you know until hey? Give me an idea. This is 16 times now. Oh, hello. Is this Heather speaking? Yes. Hi, Heather. My name's Hazel, and I'm calling regarding um, a, a complaint that you have about us. Um, our social media team reached out to me because it looks like you were having some issues with, with us. Uh -huh. about a, a it's a, it is, it has been blown way out what it should be. I cannot believe that this went on. I am I am get, calling our attorney in the morning. No doubt. Oh I, my nothing goodness. is going to stop me from doing that. Your representative oh, well, Heather, called. I'm happens? talking. You called me. Your representative mm -hmm. called the driver with me on the phone, and the driver was cussing at me, and then the representative started taking his side. No, that, that doesn't work for me. Now my anxiety is through the roof, my blood pressure is up, my stomach is killing me, and I might have to go to the hospital over this. Maybe lose a bit of so, weight. Is there what? going to be an attorney involved tomorrow? I am. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like she has a complaint. She just needs a really big shit. Oh, <laughs> to lose some weight. Let's call her back. Nothing wrong with her that a little bit of X lax won't fix. Or chainsaw. 17 times now. See, I'm, please, can we discuss this, Heather? I want to help you here. No. I don't like this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding Wait. me? After what I've been through, you think I I'm going to discuss that. this any further? Well, I would like to try and find After a what I've been through, <laughs> my package was in the wrong place. Just oh. keep calling. 18 times. Go ahead and talk now that I have an audience and that I have witnesses. Go ahead. Oh, I was calling because I want to resolve this with you. This is not is the no experience that we want to have. Are you kidding me? There is no resolution when your company calls the driver with me on the phone and the driver's cussing and telling me he slammed my packages down because I'm an Ohio State fan. Have, what? Heather, what if I got some senior management involved, got that driver on the phone, and I was able to reprimand him and possibly even deal with his employment with our company Something needs to happen because he's got a screw loose. He's saying he saw a I, witch in my window. There is no witch in my witch? window. That, Heather, I, I can't stop you from proceeding with this complaint tomorrow, but will you kindly allow me to at least reprimand the driver, if, even if it means a suspension in him? This is not acceptable to me, and I'm very, very upset and about this, and I take that it very seriously. That driver not step foot back on my property again. He will never be on your property again. I am going to find the driver. I can see who it is. Make sure he never, ever comes on your property again. I can speak with our HR legal department. I understand that you're upset. You've been very patient with us. I, I as I said, if you need to call, you know, your legal representation or, or whomever tomorrow, certainly that's your prerogative and personally... I don't want you to do it, but personally, I wouldn't blame you. Would you be okay if I just got someone on the phone so that we can just help alleviate this a little bit for you? Okay. Thank you so much for your patience. Just hold one moment. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. I mean, can you hear what's going on? I want to talk about getting Yep, this is Ron. Oh, Ron, hi. Oh, my good God. Hey, I'm on my lunch break right now. Is this important? You just, you just got to help me with this call. I have the biggest Karen I have ever spoken to oh. in my life on hold. Wait a minute. You, you didn't. Did you, did you, hey, did you have to call that Heather this. bitch Thank back? We're recording this. The Thank big fat you. lady from earlier Thank that was screaming at everybody. 
Thank oh, you. yeah. You wouldn't Bye. believe what happened. So, yeah, this big fat bitch. I looked at her social media when I was on my break. All she does is bitch about things. She's like a big fat Karen. Big fat Karen. Roly poly, big fat tumble along O for the Karen. What's she bitching about now? says she's calling her legal team she's a big woman her life and i don't respect what she's been through oh god she's oh. a fucking disgrace she needs to get laid or get a life or something I holy shit you, i need you to pretend you're from legal and just help <laughs> HR. okay and listen Please. just tell her that we fired mike or something we're actually going to give him a little bonus for having to deal with this mike's fat like sweaty abomination mike's cool mike I I've never had to complain against Mike. Well, Mike, unless it's Mike, like the Karens and the Marys. You listen, know. let me tell you what happened. He went over there. He looked through the window and he saw her big fat face with the crazy blonde hair looking back at her. He thought it was a witch or something. And I don't blame him. Look how ugly she is. Oh, I don't care what. She, it doesn't even matter. If she was. She's her personality is. I've never. Yeah, I know. I've right. I've been here for seven years and three years on this line, taking these calls. I've never dealt with this in my like what a she, she has to go to the hospital because of all she's been through like what has she been through <laughs> the only thing she's been hear. through is the fucking drive through <laughs> 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 anyway okay patch her in and i'll say i'm from legal okay <laughs> yeah, you're from hr legal and HR we're legal. fire mike and just shut her the fuck up okay all right one sec thank you patch her in Hi there, ma'am. This is Ron. I'm with the HR legal department here. How are you doing? Oh, I want to thank you because I just recorded everything you guys just said about me. So that's going on social media next, and I'll be playing it for my attorney tomorrow. Oh, what, what do you mean? What? what did... <laughs> Excellent. Let's just let her do that now. <laughs> <Your> attorney. <laughs>